A week ago, a good friend of mine asked if I'd go to breakfast with him. He was having a really difficult time figuring out where he should invest his money. He wanted to invest it somewhere where it'd be safe, but where it would also grow. He also wanted to get some dividend income because he wanted the money he invested to be working for him every day, 24 hours a day, so that he could retire as soon as possible with an income of at least $4,000 a month from that investment. The problem is that he was having information overload. There are so many stocks and ETFs to choose from that he felt absolutely overwhelmed. And so he was frustrated and he was actually on the verge of giving up. So he asked me to help him out. Here's the information I gave to him, which simplified it for him and helped him to create the ultimate simplified retirement ETF portfolio. I gave him three categories of ETFs to consider investing in. With each category, I gave him two ETFs to choose from. So out of the six ETFs, he would only need to choose three of them, one from each of these three main categories. Once he picked those three ETFs, he could then begin investing in them and keeping his money in them forever without having to do any more research. So he could basically just kick back, watch his portfolio and dividend income grow, and go about his life doing whatever he really wanted to be doing. By the way, did I mention that this friend of mine was actually a movie stuntman? That's probably a story for a different time. First, let's go through the three categories of ETFs that I gave him to choose from. The two ETFs in each category that I suggested to him, and then at the end, I'm going to show you how much he would need to invest in order to reach $4,000 a month in total passive dividend income from his combined portfolio of the three ETFs that he chose. The first category of ETF that I gave to him are two very diversified ETFs that he could choose from. The first one was VTI, and that stands for the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. This fund invests in publicly traded companies found in the U.S. It does so across a wide variety of sectors. Its goal is to track the performance of the total U.S. stock market. So it's trying to invest in 100% of the investable publicly traded companies in the United States. This includes large, mid, small, and even micro cap stocks. So it really is the total stock market of the United States. Now, if you're not familiar with these terms, large cap market value is a company between 10 billion and 200 billion. Mid cap market value is a company between 2 billion and 10 billion. Small cap, that company is worth 250 million to 2 billion. And micro cap companies, they have a market value of less than 250 million. Here you see VTI's top 10 holdings. Then notice down here at the bottom, under the number of holdings, that VTI is currently made up of 3,972 companies. So if you're looking for a very diversified portfolio of American companies, then VTI might be the ETF for you. Another very diversified ETF to consider in this first category is VOO. It was the other ETF that I gave to my friend that helped him to have a very diversified portfolio of stocks, all with just one click of one button. However, unlike VTI, VOO focuses on the S&P 500, or the 500 largest companies in the US. Here you see that as of today, VOO is made up of 510 large US companies. I then showed him the two ETFs side by side. I showed him that the expense ratio of VTI was only 0.03%. It was actually the same for VOO. The dividend of both companies is paid quarterly and the yields are pretty close. VTI's is at 1.55% and VOO's is at 1.59%. We then compared the total return of both ETFs side by side. And we saw that VTI's total return over the past 10 years was 213%. And VOO was pretty close at 225%. So VOO beat out VTI by about 11%. I told him to pick one of these diversified ETFs so that a piece of his portfolio we spread around into a lot of different companies that he'd never have to worry about again. The next category I suggest he consider, since he had time on his side, was to pick a growth ETF. The two ETFs I told him to consider were QQQ and VUG. Both of these are growth ETFs. However, unlike VTI and VOO, these two growth ETFs have a bit of a different breakdown in their holdings and performance. Here we see that QQQ's top sector is technology, which makes up 48% of it. Whereas with VUG, technology is also the top sector, but it only makes up 40% of its holdings. I showed them that Triple Q limits the number of holdings to around 100, whereas VUG has over twice that amount at 256 companies. We then looked at the total return of Triple Q as compared to VUG. As you see here, Triple Q has almost double the return of VUG. Triple Q's total return since 2005 
was just over 803%, whereas VUGs was just over 484%. That is a very large difference in these two ETFs total return. Then we compared the dividends and I showed them that QQQ was currently paying a 0.7% and VUG was a little bit lower at 0.63%. I also showed that those two dividends were both paid quarterly. Since he had time on his side and wasn't looking for a large amount of immediate income, I encouraged him to consider picking one of these growth ETFs. Finally, we get to the category that he was most excited about since his ultimate goal was to live off his portfolio's dividends. So we got to the high dividend ETF category. And although there are a lot of high dividend ETFs to choose from, since he wasn't really looking for immediate really high income, but rather wanted some growth along with increasing dividends, I told him about the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol VYM. He saw that VYM invests in publicly traded companies in the United States and does so across a diversified group of sectors with a focus on growth and value stocks that pay dividends. We then looked at SCHD, which is a Swab US Dividend Equity ETF. I showed him that SCHD focused on US companies in a wide variety of sectors. It focused on growth and value stocks of different sizes, but its main focus was on dividend paying companies. As you see here, both ETFs expense ratios are very low at only 0.06%. But then I showed him the returns side by side. First, he saw that under stock price return, SCHD has beaten VYM by a long shot. SCHD's price return is 199% since November of 2011, and VYM's is 50% less at only 149% during that same period. But it gets even worse when you look at the total return. Here you see that under total return, which includes their dividends, since November of 2011, SCHD has returned just over 320% and VYM has only returned 254%. So VYM is almost 70% behind SCHD's total return over the past 11 and a half years. Finally, we look at the holdings and breakdown of SCHD compared to VYM. We saw that financials make up 21% of SCHD and about the same with VYM, but technology makes up 16.5% of SCHD and only 7.85% of VYM. Industrials make up 16.5% of SCHD and 10% of VYM. The total number of holdings is also quite different, with SCHD owning 103 different companies and VYM having over four times the number of companies at 444 holdings. By the way, if you'd like to have access to all the information I'm sharing in this video, it all comes from Seeking Alpha, and they've agreed to give my viewers a substantial discount. They're actually offering a seven free day trial. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll leave my discounted affiliate link down in the description and comment section below. So I encourage my friend to really think through these ETFs and then pick one from each of the three categories that he felt most comfortable with. And then we created a plan so that he can reach his goal of pocketing $4,000 a month in totally passive dividend income. He said that he would, and then a couple of days later, we met again over coffee to review his brand new Ultimate ETF portfolio. Here's the portfolio that he decided to go with and how he plans to reach his $4,000 a month in totally passive dividend income from these ETFs. The three ETFs he decided to go with were SCHD, VOO, and VUG. He decided to put an equal amount or 33% of his portfolio in each one of those ETFs. Initially, he had $10,000 he was going to start his portfolio off with. When you look at the average dividend yield across the three ETFs, you see that it came in at 1.84%. The dividend growth for SCHD was 14%, for VOO it was 9%, and for VUG it was actually negative 3% over the past year. As a result, with his initial $10,000 investment, he expected to receive $184 in annual dividend income this first year. Now that was a long way from his desired amount of $4,000 a month or $48,000 a year. So how can he get to that $4,000 a month dividend goal as quickly as possible using these three ETFs? Well, the first thing we need to know was how much his dividend was going to grow by. Remember, he was going to start out with an average dividend yield of only 1.84%, which is pretty low. However, we looked at the dividend growth of the past 10 years for each of these three ETFs. And we noticed that back in 2012, the combined dividends for these three ETFs and the same $10,000, that would have been $75. Now moving forward 10 years, we saw that the combined dividend in 2022 was $184. 
So on average, the combined dividend growth for these three ETFs was 9.4%. Here you see the dividend calculation we ran. Notice that he said that he would contribute monthly to increase his portfolio. He would reinvest his dividends. The starting amount he was going to put in his portfolio was $10,000 and he planned to invest $200 a month. We just said that the dividend tax rate was going to be 15% to keep it simple. Here you see that our initial annual dividend yield was 1.84%. And we went a little bit conservative on our dividend growth. Even though the projections said that our dividends from these three ETFs should grow by 9.4% a year, we're a little more conservative and we went with 8.5% dividend growth. We ran this projection about 40 years to make sure that we had plenty of time for him to reach his goal. Here you see the projected annual dividend. Notice that in year one, when he had $10,000 in there, he expected to pocket right at $185. But notice that each year that dividend grows, and finally, as he reaches year 34, with his principal balance being just over $443,000, Notice that his dividend is $47,612, so right at his goal of $48,000 a year in dividends. So by investing $10,000 up front and $200 a month and investing equally in these three different ETFs, he expects to reach his goal of living off $4,000 a month and totally passive dividend income in 34 years. Investing in dividend paying stocks and ETFs is just one tool you can use to achieve explosive portfolio and income growth. However, my favorite way to achieve explosive growth is to trade options and more specifically, sell options every month. By selling options like we do, it's very possible to realize your retirement goal a lot sooner than my friend's time frame in this video. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see the fastest possible way you can live off dividends, check out the video at the link above and description below entitled, The Fastest Possible Way to Live Off Dividends. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.